They were all in it together, the words of the prosecution in the case of eight people accused of murdering three men during last August's riots in Birmingham and the Black Country. It was claimed in court that the men had all set out to loot local businesses but ended up resorting to using deadly weapons in the form of their cars. Well, our special correspondent Peter Wilson has been following the case. Now, Peter, what was the new evidence heard today? Well, the families of the three men who died came here to Birmingham Crown Court and heard that medical evidence. Uh, last August, um, Haroon Jahan and brothers Shahzad Ali and Abdul Muzavir were both, all of them, hit by a black ma uh, Mazda car thrown high up in, in the air. And the medical evidence said that uh, Mr Haroon and Mr Ali both died as a result of severe spinal column injuries while Mr. Muzavir died because of extensive head injuries. Now, the prosecution say that there were three cars involved, that they were all acting together in a prepared plan. What else was said about the, the men in the dock? Well, there were eight men in the dock. They've all pleaded not guilty. The prosecution also say that a police accident investigator has estimated that the Mazda car was travelling at between 37 and 45 miles per hour and that it did not decelerate as it hit the three men. Has any motive been uh, put forward for the attack? Well, the prosecution admit that the men in the dock did not set out that night to commit murder. They claim that the men instead were in convoy looking to loot businesses. But because there were some 100 Asian men out on the streets armed with bricks and bats, mm -hmm. and uh, in some cases bricks were thrown at the cars, that the men in the dock resorted to using their cars as lethal weapons. All of the men deny the charges. This case is continuing. Peter, thank you.